Hi folks, uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, but uh, got a few pencil reviews up on the website. Um, and I have this newest one up on the website for the Mitsubishi 9850 uh, in HB. Uh, this is one of their few eraser tipped or rubber tipped pencils. And uh, I gotta say, even though they consider this uh, one of their cheaper offerings, I think this thing, it, these pencils are just amazing. Um, let's see if we can get some focus here. Yeah, look at those. Wow. Centered cores beautifully. Every single one of them completely and utterly centered. Uh, if uh, you've been a reader of mine for a while, uh, you'll know that that is one of the things that bugs me more than anything is an off-center core. So um, just taking a look at these pencils, man, these things are gorgeous. Uh, a nice dark deep red. Um, it's got a, a silver imprint. It says smooth writing for office use. Um, it's BC Pencil Company, and then in in white here the UPC, um, which is lasts about for uh, you know, the actual UPC is about maybe the first third of the pencil, and then the numbers afterwards are about the uh, up to the about halfway mark. So um, they put the use on these pencils is just a kind of a leftover from like when they used to tax them all differently. So, um, uh, based on what they were used for. So, um, they still kind of just keep that old school thing on there, even though, you know, obviously they can be used for anything, but there's some that are for school and some that are for master writing. I think that some of them say, and these ones say office use. Um, it's got a kind of like a brassy little, uh, feral. It's reminiscent of the kind of purple feral that's on the Tombow 2558. It's the same style of feral, it's just not the same color. Um, and then this white eraser, uh, which reminds me a little bit of a like a Staedtler Mars, you know, white plastic eraser. Um, it does really well, it does a really good job. I have one sharpened here. Um, these are not cedar. There was a little bit of a conversation about that on the uh, Erasable Podcast group about what exactly... I mean, we know these aren't cedar, but what exactly what kind of wood they are. Um, it does well in most of my uh, sharpeners. I haven't had an issue with it in the Pollux or anything else, um, which that's a, kind of a testy sharpener, so... Um, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have a smell. Some of the, some of them have on the ends are, are kind of reddish, like you would see in some cedar pencils, and some of them are, you know, just kind of like the one I had, kind of like white or like a kind of light, you know, wood color. So uh, we're not sure. The it's, it's still out there trying to figure it out but these things sharpen beautifully the core is you know kind of like a, an average HB you know just beautifully thin um, no real man I'm having focus troubles today no real uh, no real like thick core to speak of it's just kind of standard um, these are Semi semi hex, I think, is what I said in my in my review. Uh, they are semi hex. I mean, they're not like Musgrave or anything, but uh, they also are a little bit more hex than some of their other offerings. So um, I would kind of say it's kind of in between. I mean, we're talking you know matters of degree here. It is a very comfortable pencil to hold, and this UPC it is stamped, it is raised, so kind of acts as a little grip if you need it um writing test i got a full picture of this on the website um however uh it has really good point durability um and it's a little bit darker than an average hb um it doesn't smudge very well very bad i mean that was just like me writing it and immediately taking my sweaty thumb over it so um and then i have you know or erases a word it did really well um, and then the kind of like gradation there, 
uh, harder to light. Um, this is with the attached eraser. This is with uh, the Seed Radar eraser, which is one of my favorite erasers. I always use in these tests because it can just really like take anything. Um, I will say that the eraser is not like a dust-free kind of, uh, you know, doesn't all pill up into one little piece that you can throw away like some of these do. It does leave a lot of eraser dust everywhere. Actually, we can just do it right here. But it does a really good job of erasing everything. See how it, it doesn't kind of pill up like a seed does. So, I mean, it kind of just acts like a normal pencil eraser and like a normal pink pencil eraser in that way. But um, it does a really good job erasing. Um, I just love this pencil. I, uh, man, I think this is overtaking the uh, Tombow. 2558 as my like kind of normal standard you know everyday Japanese pencil uh, you know I always like to carry something with an eraser um, if I'm not using something special um, and this kind of fills that gap for me as far as the not something special um, I would love to see this in a B see if it was a little I mean it writes super smooth but just a smidge darker um, would be I would be very happy with the Tombow uh, 2558 in B uh, is really smooth but they're about the same darkness really as, as this pencil this is a little darker for um, an HB even a Japanese HB um, I did some testing versus other um, Mitsubishi HBs and, and other Mitsubishi pencils. Um, it is darker than the 9852, yet somehow not darker and or the same as the 9852 EW, both HBs. Like the wood version of the 9852, uh, like the natural wood version. That is, uh, that is a little bit, that's about the same uh, lead is this, but the non, you know, the yellow version that I have, the 9852, um, it is a little bit lighter. So, just a little thing that I kind of found. Not by much, but just feels like it is lighter. Could be an older version of it, too. I'm not sure how old it is. The eraser sucks, just like the. That's the one thing about these. Um, Mitsubishi is notorious for having shitty erasers. So, um, these are actually good. Uh, the eraser on the the black eraser on the 9852 EW and the pink eraser on the 9852 uh, both are terrible. So um, 9852 leaves like a pinkish orange sludge all over the paper, and the the 9852 EW, the black eraser, does the same thing with like a little grayish bit. So these are actually a perfect pencil for Valentine's Day, which it is right now. So, if you're watching this in the future, know that it was Valentine's Day in 2017 when I did a pencil review instead of hanging out with my girlfriend who happens to be at class right now. So, um, maybe she'll get one of these and uh, for Valentine's Day, but I think that might break the budget. Just kidding, sweetheart, if you're watching. All right, um, so uh, check it out. Thanks for uh, looking at the review. You can buy... Uh, singles of these at CW Pencils for a dollar, um, roughly. Um, I think JetPen sells singles of these for around a dollar, too. Um, but you can also buy a full box. This box I purchased on Amazon. And I thought, like, it was going to be when I bought the Tombow 2558s, and it would ship from Japan, and I would just get a happy surprise in about two months. But these came in five days, so um, I don't know where they came from, where they shipped from. I didn't really pay attention. I just kind of threw them in my cart and just to see what was up. And they were under ten dollars, so roughly about seventy nine cents, eighty cents a pencil, um, which is not bad for a high quality Japanese pencil. I can, if this is the lowest one, well, lowest quality one, I can see why. Uh, Palomino has all their pencils or all their black wings made in Japan because, uh, man, this is just quality. The lacquer is so thick and beautiful. And they, they, I mean, 
everything is just perfect. It, it's a solid, solid pencil. Um, yeah, so if you like the review, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more like this, uh, give me a comment. Um, check out the full written review on the blog. And uh, soon enough, I will, I will be coming back with another kind of favorites video here pretty soon, probably in about two weeks. Um, so if you want to see another one of those, uh, check out my January one, and then uh, we will do another one at the end of February. I have lots of things in my pencil cup to talk about because I've been doing lots of comparisons and testings and dragging a bunch of things out. So, All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.